CM Punk. Is that a guy you want to face again? What's up, guys? Welcome to Muscle Memory. My name is Malcolm. We're here at MCW Fan Jam with Enigma Jeff Hardy. How are you, sir? Good, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We're here at MCW Fan Jam. How's it like meeting fans? Oh, it's the best. You know, over the years, I've went out of my way to spend time with the fans. And I think in the long run, that's really benefited me. Yeah. You know, just treat them like another human being uh, with a different <laughs> job. For sure, for sure. And something I've done before on this show, I've talked to Matt Hardy before about your feud in uh, 2009 at WrestleMania. And I thought it was so interesting because that was like the first time I ever got into wrestling. So it was just seeing you guys go at it. How did you feel going into that storyline knowing that Matt Hardy was going to be the reason that your house burned down and your dog passed away? Like, how did you feel with that storyline? Yeah, all that part was extremely... Uh totally out there in a bad way but we yeah. kind of just went with the with the flow of it all but like wrestling my brother at wrestlemania was a dream come true because we always watched owen and brett back in the day and we always kind of wanted to do that but yeah. but the whole thing with the uh, uh matt burning my house down and my dog i always think of this one scene from a video clip they did and jack my dog that died in the fire yeah. was at the very end and I almost broke down in, the t in tears and they were going you got to go out there and be all fired and be aggressive I mean, he burnt your house down i said no no he didn't no <laughs> did not so i went out there just stone cold it was like too much for me at that point but uh you know I, no regrets you no know regrets. wwe and oh my gosh uh <laughs> outlandish storylines uh we were a part of one of the most uh insane ones ever it was definitely out there yeah. and like what would you say is your favorite match with your brother because there's so many across wwe tna indies etc uh, it was, it was, it might be the match from TNA, uh, before he became broken Matt Hardy, just yeah. for the fact that he was about to become broken Matt Hardy. He <laughs> yeah. said, I'm going to dye a blonde streak in my hair and I'm just going to be different. And I had no idea what, what he was, he meant when, when he said that, but, uh, the world found out. They sure did. They sure did. And now looking at you in AW right now, you guys are really more featured on like the Rampage show. How do you feel like that show has been like elevating not just your career, but other people around you? Like where are some people you like working with and just your experience being on Rampage? Yeah, I think it's a constant battle for me to uh, elevate myself back to the Dynamite show, hopefully, eventually. Um, but, yeah, it's just like it is kind of the beast show. But, you know, you just go out there and still give the people what, what they want, you know, get their money's worth. Uh, but, yeah, and naturally the ultimate goal for myself and Matt is the AEW World Tag Team Championships because we were so close before I got myself in the hell of a mess that I got myself into. Uh, but now that I'm coming out of that, um, it, it's, it's within reach. Yeah. So uh, we're using the Rampage moments to uh, hopefully eventually create huge dynamite moments. And how, would you, how do you feel coming out of like, your situation from previous? Like, what's like, your mental state going into maybe this run now in AEW? Uh, it's like the last, the last run, the yeah. last good uh, Hardy Boys run. And I still have hopes deep within my soul that uh, I'm going to have one more solo world championship uh, title so you reign. Want, you want MJF? I mean, hopefully it's somebody else. I mean, I'm not, you know, it just makes me, every time I hear uh, the devil on a different level, I just, yeah. I just chuckle. You know, that's so silly. He's a poet and he don't know it, you know, really but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, no, uh, anybody, man, yeah. it was, uh, I just, it's one of the goals I've set for myself before it's all said and done to look back on it and say, yeah, you, you came out of your own personal hell and, and achieved a world championship uh, within your own personal heaven once again. So that would just make everything complete. For sure. And, like, there's so many different opponents that you've had in AEW. And, guys, you also faced previously in WWE. So, like, looking at, like, your old feud back in 2009 with CM Punk, is that a guy you want to face again now, since seeing him now on Collision? Yeah, I haven't thought about a match that much. Uh, I mean, I have a little bit, but I just think there's – what I've seen more than anything is there's just a huge moment between – me and CM Punk, just because of the history alone, yeah. you know, and especially... Uh, you guys we really were really close on Dynamite. Like, he came to the ring, and you had just rolled out the ring, yeah. so you guys weren't in shock. And even before that, I was like, I I'm not going to get close to Punk, am I? I think we're, we're, we'd be throwing away a huge moment there for the future. Um, so, yeah, but ultimately, I mean, I can see us having, having another match. I mean, I think it would be, like, bizarre in the best of ways. <laughs> of course, of course. And I guess my last question for you, Jeff, is, like, looking back at rest the rest of your wrestling career, how much longer do you think you have in the ring? I have no idea, man. I'm a big believer in, you know, uh, something could happen before I get home tonight that would end my career. You know, it's just the little things that kill sometimes. But, um, yeah, I can't put a number on it. But uh, I feel like I'm going to be rocking until I'm 50. So I'm 45 now. So, yeah, bet between now and, and 50, I think I'm going to uh, create many more moments. There it is. There it is. Jeff Hardy, thank you so much. Thank I greatly appreciate it. Where can they find your social media if not already following, which they definitely are? 
Uh, yeah, my Instagram, I don't even know what it is. I, <laughs> but the main thing I want to throw out there is there's something called Alter Nero. It's a YouTube channel that uh, all my music and video and, and interviews will pretty much go there. So uh, Alter Nero on YouTube is where you can find me. There Other is. than this. MCW Fan Jam, my name's Malcolm. This is Jeff Hardy, and we're out. See you guys. It's like a muscle man Malcolm. Uh, we going up like a thousand. I'ma flesh it's like a muscle man Malcolm. Uh, when did you like one, two, three? If you like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze.